Oh, Ronaldo strikes again is the lead story on the Irish Times this morning. Uh, Messi's missed penalty hanging over Argentina. Yeah, Messi, what are you doing missing penalties? Like, Argentina are suddenly up against it. Yeah, in, in what is... Uh, like, I, th I think at the pre-tournament, people would have kind of referred to this as the group of death, and then nearing the tournament, people were like, ah, not really, it's Messi. And uh, Croatia are in dire straits. It's going to be a battle between Croatia and Iceland for a second place, but Argentina are going to run away with it. And uh, now it seems the way the, the results have permeated, it's, it's looking like Nigeria are going to finish bottom. Croatia looking pretty good to qualify on the back of, if, if they don't get beaten tonight. But they look really good. I think, like, not just good to qualify, they look like a team that could actually go deep in this tournament. They've got, like, all the constituent parts, particularly over the course of a tournament. If everybody stays fit, they've got reasonable strikers, brilliant midfield, sound enough defence. All you need for a tournament. Yeah, well, the, what I find very interesting about this is that quite often when you see disputes between the players and the fans, because a lot of the Croatian fans really hate the players at the moment, it actually doesn't matter in a major tournament. I know geographically it would make sense for a lot of Croatian fans to be present on the ground in Russia and to have an effect, but ultimately it is a festival atmosphere. It kind of, all that stuff is kind of sidelined for a time. It's, it doesn't it, uh, like infect a squad as much as it can do with a club. Maybe later on in the tournament. Like It didn't help the polls, obviously, that they had loads at their game. Uh, Croker Chiefs stall on training sanctions. Um, this is a, a story from Martin Brownie. He's been doing the rounds now for a little while he's been kind of following up uh, Leinster brace for incredibly tough Champions Cup pool Champions Cup draw wasn't particularly kind to Leinster and ex Holman Lenehan says mental health issues ended his career this is um, an incredible story from Brian Lenehan who played for Cork City went to Hull and retired from football uh, he's only 24 years of age he's given uh, an interview to the Hard Knocks sports podcast uh, which is Trevor Welch's podcast, and he says, the reason I did retire was due to illness, not injury. Unbelievable honesty from him, and um, a particularly brave thing to do, given that there is still, unfortunately, in Irish society, and in sport in particular, and in professional sport, a stigma around mental health. But he says that he attempted suicide, ended up in the Priory, ended up getting um, ACT. Actually, we can bring you a clip from um, Trevor Welch's podcast. This is the Hard Knocks podcast, and it's unbelievable stuff. Um, from Brian Lennon and worth a listen. Have a listen. The reason why I did retire was due to illness, not injury. Um, it's kind of a really dark, dark period in my life um, from, say, July up until uh, up until December. Um, I was struggling a lot um, with football and with, with lots of other things and mainly my mental health and... Uh, on the 15th of December this year, I attempted suicide. Um, and then I was brought to hospital and then transferred to the Priory Hospital in Altrincham. And I spent three months there. Um, and I did 12 sessions of ECT, um, electroconvulsive therapy. Um, so it was, it was a, a really dark period, but one that I got genuinely I feel lucky to have a second chance at life. Mm. Um, it's a it's something that not not a lot of people know. Obviously, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend, my my close friends and stuff, but no nobody else really knows that. And I just was kind of torn between when you asked me to do the interview. I, obviously, you thought it was because of injuries as yeah. well. And yeah, I was torn between doing the interview and not because I didn't want it to. I don't don't want to come across as being dramatic or or having an excuse for the reason why I retired. And that's not the case. And the reason that I agreed to do the interview was to, I suppose, if I could help at least one more person and um, make sure that they didn't make the same mistakes that, that I did because it wasn't like I didn't have a, a close-knit family or a good support network. I, I really did. I had such a good support network. But when when you're in that state of mind, um, I don't think a lot of things can, can stop you from, from making silly mistakes like that. That's um, the Hard Knocks Sports Podcast, which you can uh, access on SoundCloud, um, presented by Trevor Welsh, and that's Brian Lanahan there, opening up unbelievable honesty, really. And like, even in that bit, it's very logical, the conversation that he's having with Trevor, where he's talking about the decision to go public with it. Um, and so all you can do is wish him the very best in his recovery and hope that it does help other people out there who are undergoing severe mental health difficulties to reach out, that there is a, a pathway for him six months after his suicide attempt to be chatting about it and kind of saying, actually, you know what, I think that maybe I can talk to other people about this and try and help them out of the difficulties that I was in.
Yeah, for sure. It seems like the, the natural step, but also just an unbelievably brave thing to do to to go on and actually speak about it in that manner. And it's like it's awful to hear as well that he would say that you know that the reason why he might not have done the podcast is because of how it might have been viewed in in a more negative way that people like m might have kind of second guessed his the the kind of authenticity of his story or something like that, which isn't. Which is an awful situation to be in if you're actually if that if that's the, the thought running through your mind after yeah. you've gone through this. Yeah. Like it's only like adding fuel to the fire to a certain extent of what he's going through. It's 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 horrible stuff, but it's like absolutely inspirational that he's actually like had the ability to go on the record now at this point. It's so close to what's happened as well. Like this is only six months out uh, from a suicide attempt, almost seven months. So it's it's unbelievable bravery and it's it's a brilliant listen. It's like a hard listen, but a brilliant listen.